I, I'm not particularly concerned about perhaps lower oil, oil prices. I, I would I would rather say probably slightly higher oil prices from here, and that's going to be probably leading to some positive base effects in energy prices and energy price inflation also uh, in the second half of this year. But let's remember that what we're seeing in the next couple of months is going to be the most disinflationary effects from energy prices, from commodity prices in general, so energy and food prices, from goods prices as well. So the reality is that the next couple of months, particularly towards sort of uh, uh, the end of Q1 and then Q2, we're going to see very, very, very negative base effects on these on these you know uh, price categories, and that will mean we are going to get really sort of the easy gains in inflation. Right, we're going to probably see headline inflation in the US down below three percent by by the middle of of this year, and in our view, the market is going to cheer to that. Right, it doesn't matter whether ultimately perhaps. Inflation is going to be ending up a bit, you know, a bit stickier. I don't think the market will focus on that first. First, we're going to celebrate that, you know, disinflation theme in the next few months. What is happening ultimately is the second step. That's the second trade that will very likely only going to come in sort of six to nine months time. And your expectation is what? That the U.S. and frankly, Europe can avoid that hard landing? Um, yes, I think for the particularly for the first half of this year, I think expectations are really a bit too bearish, a bit too pessimistic. So what we are saying is it doesn't really matter whether we go into a recession, for example, in Europe, right? If we if we see sort of a recession at minus 0.2, right, on a quarter of a quarter range in, in the eurozone, for example, even that would be already a positive surprise, right? So the, the skew is massively, massively to the upside, given such negative expectations. Look at earnings expectations now for the reporting season, for the Q4 reporting season ongoing right now. Or even look at the Q1 reporting season, right? That's going to then come in mid-April to mid-May. What we are seeing is, is really very, very strong downgrades on the mega caps, also on the cyclical sectors, right? On materials on consumer discretionary. So we're having a, an environment of very, very strong growth concerns, an environment of you know, consensus being extremely, you know, extremely concerned around a recession coming right now and against the backdrop of those bearish expectations. It doesn't take a lot to surprise positively. That's all what we're saying, right? We're not really super, super bullish. I'm not saying we're completely out of the woods. Inflation is going to go away on its own. Uh, we're definitely going to see a soft landing in the next year, year and a half. Definitely no recession. But against the backdrop of such bearish expectations right now, it simply does need a lot to surprise positively.